This has been an interesting year, to say the least. We're all under quarantine still, and we've lost a few people who are near and dear to us. My personal journey through 2020 is a little interesting. First off, it wasn't entirely terrible. My 2020 started with 30 subscribers and a lot of hope. Little did I know how unusual this year would be. When the country went under lockdown, nothing really changed for me. I was being homeschooled at the time, so the idea of online schooling wasn't new or different. But a few months into it, the effects of isolation started to take their toll. It is said that the mind will go before the body when you're alone, and I feel like most people can agree with that statement now. You need human interaction to function as a basic human being, whether you like it or not. I feel that my personal journey with this loneliness was a bit rougher than a lot of others. I tend to move a lot, so I've never really had any truly close friends. I never had the time to establish roots and grow from there, so I didn't have anyone to call when I started to feel lonely. A lot of the time, I would simply lay in bed, looking at the ceiling, just waiting for the day to end. I would barely eat, and I just had this crushing feeling of isolation. It felt like a dark blanket going over me that provided no warmth. But it wasn't all bad. My sub count has more than doubled in size this year, and my production value has gone up immensely. I've learned a lot about this stuff, and I've met a lot of cool people. I've had my ups and downs, and I feel like I'm a better person because of it. Towards the middle of the year, I could no longer use my favorite editing software, Adobe Premiere, since my laptop could no longer run it. I was simply depressed because I couldn't make any sort of content. But I had been working on a desktop computer at the time, and thankfully I had finished building it before my laptop took its last breath. I have been able to make a lot better content because of my new rig, and I am so happy to have this as a hobby. As far as my plans for this channel, well, I, I don't really have that many. First off, I don't plan on this being my job, just a hobby that I enjoy doing. My goals for 2021 are to reach 100 subscribers, go to VidCon, and try to post on a weekly basis. I don't have plans for this channel to become something more than it is right now, that being just a fun thing I do on the side. So if you could subscribe to me and help me reach that goal of 100 subs by the end of 2021, I would greatly appreciate it. Well, here's to a new year and hopefully a better one. And that's it for now. Bye.